Hello, all your base Chris here. This time we're going to try and get Pi Mega 1.4 working on uh, WinUAE. And I'm going to show you how to extract the image files if, say, for example, you didn't have access to a Linux computer. So you need to get the Pi Mega image from the usual sources here. As you can see, I've got Pi Mega 1.4. And to extract the folders and config you need, you need to download some software to read the Linux partition. So here I have Disk Internals Linux Reader, free version. Uh, yep, totally free for the trial version, which will do what we want to do. So from here, download it, open it up, and we're going to mount an image. We're going to mount, uh, mount a raw disk image here and go to where you've downloaded PyMiga. Hit open, give it a few seconds. It's going to try and mount these files. Now, the one you're looking for is rootfs here. Double click. And now we're in the Linux partition. Normally Windows can't read this, but today we can. We're using this software. From here, go to the home folder, Pi, Pi Mega, Disks. And these are the ones you want to extract. So select them all, right click, and select save. I'll ask what you want to do with them. You want to save the files, and then it will say enumerating recoverable files. This might take a while. And then it's going to ask where you want to put them. So we're going to put them in PyMega. Okay. Save directory structure will be useful. Hit next. It'll ask you which ones you want to do. Just make sure. Keep them all selected and hit next. This is going to take a considerable amount of time. So I'm now going to cut the video here and we'll come back once this is finished. Okay, so we've downloaded the folders to the directories where we want to save them to. Uh, a big hard disk is required because you're talking about 20 plus gigabytes of data. So from here, you need to back up. So back into Pi, Amiberry, Conf. And we need this file, the a1200.uae. Save. Save files. Save it to where you want to save it. Next. Finish. Okay. So we can now close that down. So I've already created a configuration file from the last time I tested this, but we're going to show you the steps how to recreate one from scratch. So we want to load from, and we need to go to the directory we saved the a1200.conf2, which in my case is PyMega, a1200, open. Let's have a look what we've got in here. So this is approximating an A500, A1200 with just-in-time emulation on. It'll load this up. First thing we're going to do is why don't we save this configuration that we just loaded and we need to give it a unique name before we can save it. So we'll save that as 1200 UAE. I hit save and now it's appeared there. Okay, we'll load that in. Hit load again just to make sure. So this should populate all of the settings with the correct settings to run on WinUAE. Apart from the RTG board, note that seems to be okay as well. Last time I tried this, it had too much VRAM. So let's hit start and see what happens. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> because we haven't configured this correctly as of yet. So, if you go to CD and hard drives, you can see that it's all pointing in the wrong place. So we can probably remove DH5. Simply go to DHO systems and hit properties. And we need to point this at the right place. So at the moment it's saying home Pi Mega Pi Mega system. That's the wrong place. So hit select directory. Go to the directory where you downloaded all of your 
Pymega files from. Which in our case is yet again still Pymega. And we're looking for system. So system select folder. Okay. And now we repeat this process for all of these. Select directory. I mean, this one's called demos. So select demos. Okay. Games now. Properties. Select directory. Backup one. Game. Select folder. Okay. Work. Properties. Select directory. Backup one. Work. Okay. Audio. Properties. Select directory. Backup one. And that's audio. Select folder. Okay. Before we do anything else, configuration, select 1200, save. So uh, let's see what happens. Hit reset. I am eager. I don't know if you could even see that because it went full screen. So let's fix that now. Display. Uh, it will drop down to 640 by 480 full screen, which is perfect for the Amiga, but not so good for a desktop computer. So why don't we set that to native full screen and RTG comes in full screen, native is full screen. Window is 320 by 284. Yeah. Let's read that and see if that makes any difference to how it looks. I am eager. Didn't in this case. So you'll notice this is taking quite a long time. Let's see if we can speed this up. So if we go to uh, CPU and FPU, change it from approximate to fast as possible. See what difference that makes. I am eager. Here we are. So it's fired up. It's pretty low res at the minute. So system, preferences, Screen mode. I'm going to change this to 1920 by 1080. Give it a test. Yep, that's happy with that. Save. And now I've got PyMega running it in full res. Right, so it's all working. It looks like that's pretty good. Configuration. Save. And then you can have a good old play with this. I've uh, gone through PyMeager in the past, so I'll not go through it now. But everything should work as of now. Uh, audio will work. There are games installed on here as well to have it explore with. And networking works as well. You can load up the web browser. It's pretty cool. So anyway, I hope you found that illuminating. And uh, I'll see you later. Thanks a lot.